and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. Today I will be giving an overview of the most common issues that may arise when using Shopa Pro or any of our other applications. While this list is not comprehensive, these are the problems that our users encounter most often. First, I'll go over some of the common causes of errors and then I'll cover the steps to take if you encounter them. The first common issue is caused by overheating drives. Internal drive components move very quickly and high usage will result in a temperature rise. With this rise in temperature comes a drop in throughput rate, which means a higher chance of damaging your drive. Increased temperatures can also lead to incorrect byte transfers. This can be a critical issue because standard checksumming options will not catch this. Essentially, this leads to a garbage in, garbage out situation. To prevent this, first try and keep your drive as cool as possible. Additionally, in Shopput Pro, there is an option to enable source integrity verification. This means that Shopput will reread the source and calculate a value. This ensures that the bytes read and copied are correct because of the likelihood of the rereading failing in the exact same manner as the original read is minuscule. As mentioned earlier, overheating drives can shorten their lifespan, which can lead to another common issue, bad or worn drives. Drives wear down over time, and this is sped up by signification I.O. cycles. And just like spinning hard drives, SSDs can suffer bit rot and bad sectors. These situations can cause data loss from which recovery can be difficult. To combat this, we recommend that drives be replaced after significant use. However, this can be expensive. Therefore, an alternative is to use SSD health checking software to monitor the drives to help prevent failures. Like drives, cables can also wear out over time and extensive use. Faulty cables often cause intermittent errors and failures and can also result in slower speeds. If errors seem to be occurring at random, it would be wise to swap out any old cables with new ones. A final cause of common issues is human error. Regardless of the amount of care taken, human error can still occur. Because of this, it is best to use dedicated software like Shopput Pro and pre-configured settings like preset mode to cut down on the potential steps at which errors could occur. Automation and pre-configured settings remove much of the human element from the process, thus cutting down on potential errors. Now I will go over a five-step list of what to do if you do encounter an error. First, evaluate the presented error to see if it gives any clue as to what went wrong. If possible, you may be able to fix your issue quickly. If the error persists, the second step is to make sure you check your cable connections and swap cables if needed. The third step is to check your drive temperatures to make sure that it is not overheating. If it is, try and cool it down or give it time to cool down before using it again. If your issue is still occurring after this, instruct Shopput to retry the copy. After trying these steps, your issue could be more complicated. At this point, contact our support team by navigating to our website, clicking on Help, and then selecting Contact Us from the drop-down menu. Hopefully this video has given you the information needed to solve any issues that may come up while using Shopput Pro or any of our other applications. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.